our increasingly connected world, people rely on air travel for both business and leisure. Jet fuel is at the heart of this aviation economy. As we look to the future, America's leadership in the aviation economy is threatened by its ability to deliver a reliable, domestic supply of more efficient jet fuel with a reduced impact on the environment. Fuel is the number one cost driver for airlines, making up 35% of their operating costs. Keeping those costs predictable and manageable is critical not only to airlines, but to the entire trillion dollar aviation industry. Airlines get they need new fuel and they really are pushing the industry and technology and policymakers to create and supply sustainable low cost biofuels. Just three cross country round trip flights produce more carbon per passenger than an entire year of driving for the average American. Aircraft designers and engine builders are pushing the limits of efficiency, saving on fuel costs, but efficiency can only go so far. Engines are 70% more efficient today than they were 30 years ago. Wings, massively more efficient, more lift, less drag. So how does aviation reduce its environmental footprint? Biofuels. Biofuels off, offer the most cost-effective way to create significant double-digit reductions in emissions over every other opportunity. Enter biofuels. Unlike automobiles, where electrification is an increasingly viable option, commercial airplanes really don't have the option to move away from liquid fuels. Because of this, biofuels present an opportunity to create new clean energy jobs by developing technologies that deliver stable, long-term fuel options. Pacific Northwest National Laboratory is working with the Department of Energy and industrial partners, such as Lanzatech and Imperium Renewables, on processes to convert biomass to aviation fuels. So the United States Department of Energy, and within that department, the Bioenergy Technologies Office, is leading the charge of making the new processes that go into biofuels, including aviation biofuels. We use uh, catalytic reactors. They use both pressure and temperature to do chemical transformations. They're very much like a petroleum refinery we'd use, uh, and we'd use multiple steps. The first key step is the removal of the oxygen, and then transformation and refining of that hydrocarbon to a fuel that meets aviation specifications. So the challenge that we have is being able to take a broad range of, of materials that are here in the U.S. And we're really looking at things that otherwise might be considered as waste material. Uh, that could be agricultural residues or forest residues or even waste gases that, that are used in, in the production of steel. And being able to take these materials and put them into a form in which we have a fuel that matches the specification that the jet engine was designed around. And we produce right now liter quantities of, of aviation fuel for testing uh, so they can uh, make sure that they'll meet the properties. And then once they uh, see that our one liter samples make, then it goes to five and 50 liters. And eventually we'll be producing thousands of gallons for a uh, flight test. Aviation biofuels, helping a greener industry take flight.